So moving to the next page. James Langdon, sworn witness, is an overseer on Rakane Estate. So he's a slave owner. He's an overseer on the Rakane Estate. Naomi wants to see what she can discover about earlier generations of her dad's family. She's talking to historian Dr. Nicole Philip Dow, who's done some research for her. There is a family tree. Ooh. <gasps> wow. Um, so we have Charles William Wallace Clark. He obviously married Anne Sophia. Uh, OK, so William Clark and Agnes Emily Langdon, mm -hmm. Um, they are my great, great, great grandparents. Yes. Okay. Um, and Agnes mm -hmm. is the daughter of James Langdon of Somerset. <laughs> he is actually oh my goodness. born in England wow. and also dies. In, in England. England. In Somerset. In Somerset. So my roots actually bring me back to the UK. Brings you back to, to the Somerset. To Somerset. Most of the persons coming out of England yeah. into the Caribbean tended to be very, very humble beginnings. Yeah. So they were going seeking their fortunes, exactly. basically. We have a newspaper article, the Grenada Free Press and Public Gazette. Yeah on the 14th of October, 1829. Mm -hmm. A slave belonging to Rakane Estate was put to the bar for manslaughter and pleaded not guilty. So moving to the next page. James Langdon, sworn witness, is an overseer on Rakane Estate. So he's a slave owner. He's an overseer on the Rakane Estate. Wow. So, That's, um, yes. What would he have done as, a, as an overseer? And not a very nice human being. Well... And very brutal, I would imagine. He would have had to look after the slaves. His job would have been not the day-to-day. -day after. <laughs> running of the estate. Yeah. So, and part of his responsibility would be punishment of slaves as well. It would almost be better off if he was the owner, because actually the owner's removed from the brutality, whereas James Langdon is right in the heart of all of that. He's in the heart of it, yes. Wow. After the abolition of slavery came into effect in 1834, Naomi's four times great-grandfather, James Langdon, stayed in Grenada. Nicole has discovered that by 1849, he was the manager of a sugar plantation called La Sagesse. So there's a report that I found. Yeah. If you read from the top here. Report upon the present state of African immigrants introduced into the island of Grenada by the Clarendon in March 1849. Uh-huh. And here is... Suggests. La Suggests Estate. Yeah. All right. Person yeah. in charge. James Langdon. Jane Langdon. And they are 19, 19 African immigrants brought in to this estate. Yeah? Mm hmm And how? Ah. Given that slavery is ended. Ah, so I'd point you to this. Government House, Grenada, 23rd of March, 1849. Mm hmm Sir, I have the honour to inform Your Excellency that the Clarendon arrived in this port on the evening of Tuesday, the 20th, having on board 248 liberated Africans. I don't understand. OK. Liberated Africans. Yeah. It's now the bringing in mm -hmm. of indentured servants, persons to work on the estates. After the British slave trade ended, a number of countries, including Spain and Portugal, continued to ship enslaved people to their colonies. The British Navy intercepted slave ships off the coast of West Africa and liberated their human cargo. But over 40,000 of these so-called liberated Africans 
ended up being taken to the Caribbean to work on British plantations. As indentured laborers, their contracts tied them to estates like La Sagesse for a fixed period during which they could not leave. If you were truly liberated, you'd say, I want to go home, right? You, you know, ripped me from my homeland. I want to go back to Africa. Yes. So, what does so it mean? liberated here means that they're not going to be going into slavery on a Spanish plantation or a Portuguese plantation. Just on a Caribbean one. Well, they're going to be paid. A pittance. Uh, well, five pence per day for your first year. So you, you're indentured to an estate, in this case, Lassagess estate, for about three years. So they were slaves for those three years, basically. We would say indentured, so they were paid. So, But they still didn't have their liberty. Well, li it's, it's restricted, and that's so it why it's... So it was just basically a fancy way of basically the British um, continuing with slavery um, when it was not legal. Very controversial. It's an extremely controversial system. What that means is when we say that slavery ended, it didn't in fact end for a, a much longer period. It continued for a much longer period. In a different way of... Under a different name. Under a different name. So another similarity um, between slavery and this period of, of indentureship is that during slavery, the slaves would take the name of the estate manager mm -hmm. or the estate owner. The exact same thing happened under indentured labor. They took the last name of the manager or the estate owner. So we do have a number of Langdons in Grenada of African descent. In all likelihood, the people from coming over from Africa are not kind of like, I'm willingly giving up my name. Right. They're not like, I'd, I'd really love the name Langdon, please. Not necessarily. No. no. Yeah. No. All right. 